It's June and that means it's time for Pride. Happy Pride everybody, my name is Thomas Brown. What is Pride all about? Well, it's a time when members of the LGBTIQA community, along with all of their allies, get together to celebrate the ideals of inclusion, love, acceptance, diversity, and equality. It's also a time when we take note of the hard work, determination, and perseverance that has gone into bringing us to the state that we're in now in terms of acceptance and inclusion. It's really quite wonderful. That being said, Pride is also a time when we need to take note and recognize that there are places across the world, throughout Canada and in Ontario, where members of the LGBTIQA community continue to experience discrimination, marginalization, oppression, harassment, and other forms of violence, and that this really negatively impacts these individuals and these people, not only in terms of their health, but their mental health. Rainbow Health Ontario, along with the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health, have put together a little bit of a fact sheet, and you can access that fact sheet online at uh, www.rainbowhealthontario.ca, and it goes into quite a lot of detail, especially about mental health um, for this community, but I just want to go over some broad strokes here. This fact sheet will show that um, people who are part of the LGBTIQA plus community struggle more with their mental health than people who are part of the heterosexual community. There's more depression, more anxiety, more substance use and misuse. There's even alarming numbers around um, the amount of suicidal ideation, suicidal thoughts, and suicidal gestures that occur in this community. These numbers are even more alarming when we look at the numbers for um, LGBTIQA plus youth, and specifically for those people who identify as transgender, where there is far more um, attempts at suicide and far more struggle with harassment and violence. So what is it that leads this community to having more problems with their mental health? Well, the fact is that it's that members of this community experience more violence, harassment, bullying, discrimination, oppression, uh, than the heterosexual community. Uh, people as part of the LGBTIQA plus community um, are more likely to experience childhood um, mistreatment. Um, workplaces for folks who are part of this community are not always accepting. There may be very negative experiences coming out at home or in other places. And even kind of societally wise, um, there are kind of messaging that happens for this community that says maybe you don't fit in and maybe you're not good enough. This leads to a lot of internalized homophobia and, and negative assessments of ourselves. And then that, of course, negatively impacts our mental health. So what do we do about this? How do we help? Well, um, one of the key factors, one of the key protective factors in the mental health of the LGBTIQA plus community are supportive, inclusive environments. And that goes right from a federal level straight down into a home. So from a federal level, having legislation and laws in place that protect human rights and protect the rights of the LGBTIQA plus community are really vital and important. Um, having workplaces that have um, inclusive policies and anti-discrimination policies in place, having neighborhood associations and community centers and organizations um, that, are, that are inclusive and open and welcoming are really, really critical. And also the, the kind of specific community and family life of an individual who identifies as part of the LGBTIQA plus community is really crucial for that person to be able to feel supported and loved and, and really important. Um, all of these kind of inclusive environments will help reduce the instances or the, the amount of kind of internalized homophobia or transphobia that someone will experience. And that is a part of what helps people to have a more positive mental health and better outcomes in their life. Qualia Counseling has always been a place that strives to be inclusive of all people, including the LGBTIQA plus community. And I know that there's a lot of other agencies here in Kitchener-Waterloo, across Ontario and Canada and online that are very supportive of this community. So yes, happy Pride everybody. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate all of these ideals, inclusion, equality, love, acceptance, diversity. And let's also remember that there's more work to be done and that there's places you can go to for help and places that will be able to reach out and support you. Happy Pride.